Hi, and welcome to our class of 20 minutes of movement to combat desk fatigue. You don't need any equipment with this class. What I suggest though is you do take your shoes off, just work in your bare feet or your socks. Make sure you've got space, make sure there's nothing around to trip over. We're not going to give you too much space. Good news is we're not getting down to the floor and we're not going to get sweaty. Starting off with just some nice general movements to get our breath working for our body again. So our first one is just a soft bow and arrow. So these are quite soft, fingertips in front, and then just breathing in, row that elbow back, out breath comes back, in breath, elbow back, out breath. I'm going to turn to the side, you stay as you are, breathing in, Stay looking forward. Going for about five on each side. Most things will be done five times. And just drawing back like you're on a bow and arrow. It's quite a soft bow and arrow. Uh, let's just do one more. Soft bow and arrow. And soft bow and arrow. Good. Now, I'm going to do one arm circle. This time, move your head. So we're looking at the hand, breathing in, follow the hand of your head. As you breathe out, reach behind, circle down, in breath up, out breath through, breathing in, lifting, just giving some movement. I think this is number five. And around onto the other side, following the hand of your head. Anytime there's something you don't like doing, just miss it out. Last one, nice in breath. Breathing out. Staying with our breathing sequence, we're going to come into rest stroke. So it's breathing out, we come up. And then reach the arms back, lift your chest, look up a little bit, pull the arms down, out breath, and breathing in. I'm going to turn to the side again slightly so you can see. Last one. Good. Now we're coming into a standing roll down. Have your hands on your legs, that makes you feel more comfortable. So we take a breath to repair, and as you breathe out, just deflate, soften, start to roll down. Just let the hands guide you if you wish. And then just breathing in, we're coming back up, nice and tall. As you breathe out, it's the head, it's the neck, it's the upper back, the mid back, here's the lower back, that's always tricky, let those hips tilt. And in breath, return pelvis through the low back, mid back, upper back, neck and head. Last one, notice I'm sitting back on these ones, so now. Good, and now I'm just going to do some side bends, very easy, just breathe out, reach down, in breath back up, out breath, other side, in breath back up. Good. So now we're going to work specifically through each sort of joint of the body. We're going to start down at the feet. So we're working a little bit more um, up through the body, finishing the head. Um, I'm going to turn sideways. You can stay facing forward. The first one is just simple, just walking and sort of treading in place. So there's always one heel on the floor. I'm just working through those toes a little bit, working through the ankle and just a little bit of movement of the hip and knee. Just nice simple movement, 
walking through the feet. Good. Now we're going to rock backwards and forwards. So it's a little sway back. So I lift the heels, little sway back, toes. Lift the heels. Just miss this out, doesn't feel right for you. Just this little rocking through the feet. Get the toes working, get the heels, toes and heels. Now we're going to rock in and out on the feet. So we want to take the weight of our body onto the outside edges of the feet and then come onto the inside edges of the feet. It's not a big movement, but just find that movement at the ankle, weight on the outside, weight on the inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Good, so we've got to the foot a little bit more, more mobile. We're now going to go into our sort of like a prancing horse to work the calves and the feet a little bit more. So I lift one ankle up and I swap mid-air and then lifting and trotting, prancing. So at one point, both heels are off the floor. Just working through a bit of foot strength. Good. Now we're going to come to the hips and knees. So what we're going to do is a standing march. And from here, I'm just going to tap across, tap across, march down into the floor to lift the other leg up. And finish. Good. So now we've got some movement at the hips. We're going to do some hip circles. So hands onto the hip pelvis, and then we're just going to circle around, swaying around, wide in one direction. And let's reverse it. So cross forward, sides, back. Again, let the feet and knees be soft. Feel the response in your feet and ankles. So now we're going to take that into figure eight. So take your fingertips onto the hip bones at the front. We're going to start on this side. This one's going to travel backwards. And now it's going to travel forwards on the diagonal. This one gets a chance to roll backwards. And now it comes forwards, round back, travel, round back, travel. And just the sort of figure eight movement pattern for the hips. Good. Now we go reverse it. So this one travels across. This one comes forwards. This one travels back on the diagonal. This one rounds forward. Come back, forwards. Round it forward, travel back. Round it forward, travel back. Good. So we've got sort of movement in the hips and the pelvis. Coming up to the shoulders now. So classic one done waiter, just cross the hands over, keep the elbows fairly close to the side of the body, and we just breathe in, leading with the thumbs, and breathing out in turn. Now I'm just going to turn to my back. There isn't much scapular movement on this exercise, but what I am thinking about, roll the back of the armpit forward to the front of the armpit and that's going to help you get a little bit more movement. So think about how you've got this humeral head rotation going. Good. Now we're going to come to scapular retraction. Start with your hands touching. I'm going to rotate and pull the elbows back as I breathe in. And then out breath coming forward, they touch. So again, pulling back. On this one, the scapula pull together and then they open up. So a couple more of these scapula retraction exercises. Good. Now we're going to work sort of rotation of the neck and movement of the head and the shoulders. This one's based on some Franklin work. Mm -hmm. So place your hand on the shoulder. This is the shoulder that's going to rotate back. But keep your eyes looking and your head looking forward. So shoulder back, stay looking forward. Keep the eyes centered in the face and then turn the head. Now turn the eyes further so you're looking around the corner of your ear. Bring your eyes back to center. 
bring your head back to centre, shoulder back to centre, repeating this side. Head stays looking forward, turn that shoulder backwards, rotate the head, turn the eyes further, bring the eyes back to centre, bring the head back to centre, shoulder back to centre. One more of these. Shoulder up, keeping the eyes focused forward. Turn the head slowly. Turn the eyes, maybe the head's going to get a little bit further. Head back to centre. And then shoulder. Good. This side gets a chance now. So, keep your eyes looking forward. Find that shoulder rotating back. Turn the head. Take the eyes, maybe the head's going to turn further. Bring the eyes back to centre. Head back to centre. Shoulders. Keep the eyes and head looking forward. Turn that shoulder. Keep the eyes in the centre of the face. Turn the head. Now turn the eyes to look round the back of the ear. Eyes back to centre. Head back to centre. Shoulder. Last time on this side. Shoulder. Turning the head. Get those eyes working. Eyes back to centre. Head back to centre. And shoulder. We're going to work now with some movement of the head and neck, but you want to think about the neck staying stable. Don't let the neck tilt backwards and forwards. Everything's about the head on top of the neck. So we're going to turn sideways. Put your fingertips on your chin and your fingertips on the occipital ridge in the back of the skull. And then keeping the spine, the neck stable, just tilt forwards and tilt back. Looking down and looking up. And just find that nice movement pattern without the neck doing anything. We do the same now with the head going from side to side. So put your fingertips on your cheekbones. Again, keep the spine, the neck stable. And we just turn. And we turn, steer those two cheekbones to help you get this head movement. So again, the head's just moving on the top of the spine, and the spine is staying still. Doesn't have to be big. Good, back to centre. Now we're going to move the neck with the head. We're going in for a neck stretch. Take your hand, so the back of your hands against the back of your pelvis. Get that shoulder back, hand to the side of the head. Just let this guide you rather than pull. So it's just a guiding feeling of the fingertips and the shoulder moving away from each other. Don't forget to move the shoulder away. Come back to centre, we'll do that twice more. So this side neck stretch, but again, it's more of a guide than a yank. Come back to centre. Last time on this side. Good, swap over, back of the hand to the back of the pelvis. Get that shoulder back. Fingertips, think about elbow and fingertips moving away from each other. Good, and down. Now we're going to go into the hands. So we go make a fist or a potato or a spud. And then we go take the hand into like a spatula. We're going to take the hands into a spider as we spread them. So it's spud, spatula, spider. Spud, spatula, spider. Spud, spatula, spider. One last round. Good. Now we're going to do what's called Clara's castanets after Clara Pilates. Take the tip of your little finger into the centre of your hand, not across to your thumb, but to the centre. So here we go. Little finger to the centre, ring finger to the centre, middle finger to the centre, first finger to the centre, thumb towards the centre. This hand again to the centre of the hand, little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumb. Back to this hand, but starting with the thumb, thumb to the centre, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, middle finger. This side, thumb, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, middle finger. Arms out to the side, just rotate the wrists. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it, one, two, three, 
four, five. Hands together, shoulders back and down. And then we're just going to work a little bit of pushing the fingers from side to side. So you just get a little bit more of a hand and wrist stretch. Lastly, after all that nice shoulder work, we're just going to do a nice shoulder roll. So we come up, roll back and down, forwards, up and around. And make this as little effort as possible. Really feel your shoulder blades moving around. Feel your armpits nice and bouncy as you do this. We'll go reverse it. So we come back, up, forwards and down. Again, feel those shoulder blades helping. Feel your armpits lively. Good. Now we're going to come into some work for the legs, a little bit of strength work. So we're coming into our squats, so I'm going to turn sideways on. What you want to do is get your thumbs into where your hip crease is, so find that hip crease. It's a small little squat, feet are parallel, and then just as you breathe in, send the thumbs backwards and out breath. Come up, build your pushing back into those thumbs, but in breath, squatting down and out breath up. And in this sequence, you want to feel that you're stable in the spine. So the back, the ribs, the neck all stays nice and stable. So we've got stability going on in this little squat series. We're going to take that into the same movement of the legs, but we're going to add the arms. And it's called opening the window. So what happens is as you breathe out, you come down, but breathe in. And here's your opening the windows. So out breath, same little squat, breathing in. If you wish to go a little bit further, keep your body stable, keep the pelvis stable. Last one, coming up and down. Nice. Now the last exercise we're going to do. So it's not the last exercise, but it's what we're going to do is a little bit of flexion extension in the spine. And we're going to take our hands down to our thighs, uh, find where you're comfortable. And then you're just going to sort of go into a little bit of a round back. And you go to then arch into a bit of extension. So you can think, look down the floor towards your toes. And look along the floor, up the wall. And you can see the ceiling. And out breath, flexing. In breath extending. See, it's got some flexion extension happening down on in the spine. Miss it out, it doesn't feel good. Finishing the flexion and just roll back up. Now, next exercise interlace your fingers, turn the hands so you can see your knuckles. Breathe in, lift, stay looking at the hands. Now separate the hands, stay looking at the thumbs. Keep your eyes wide and track the thumbs. And breathe out, just drop the head down a little bit, interlace your fingers, turn so you can see the knuckles. In breath, open up. Out breath, track the thumbs. Again, keep your eyes wide. See if you can see them out the side of your eyes. Two more of these, just breathing in. Out the... Last one. Get a nice wide vision. Good. So we're going to finish up with some stepping sequences. So our first step is a little step going forwards. Imagine you're on narrow railway lines. I'm just going to step forwards, come back in. I'm just going to step forward, come back in. The back heel stays in the ground. It's not big. We have a little bit of arm work to this. So just watch. So it's just press away and then pull back. So I'm going to go sideways now. Starting on this leg, we're just going to step and out breath, pull back, swap to the other side. Pressing, pulling, pressing, pulling, and okay. So we've got another step, but this time I step wide-ish. 
So I'm going to step a little bit wider, like I'm stepping onto a wider railway line, but my feet haven't turned. I'm still facing forward. And I had a little arm movement, so it's down with my fingertips and back. I'm going to turn sideways. Just watch a second. So I step. I don't round the back. I sort of lean over and then come back up. So let's do this facing this way. We're going to start on this leg and we're just going boom and zoom. Let's go to the other side. Okay, think about a long straight spine. So we're just going lean a little bit, come back. Last time, finishing off. Good. Now we're going to step out sideways and again stepping sideways, my feet are still pointing forwards. I'm going to step continuously to the same side. And I'm going to add an arm movement and come back. So get ready with me. And here we go, breathing in and breathing out. Just make sure you've got space to go the other direction. Arms out to the side, again breathing. To T shape. Last sequence of stepping is I'm going to step backwards, and this time I do rotate. It's like I'm stepping towards number four on the clock. So I'm going to step. This time my feet have rotated, so my knee goes over. I step, come back in. Now I want to have a book opening movement pattern with this. So just watch the first one. I'm just going to step, rotate, come back through. We're going to stay on the same side. So here we go, breathing in and breathing out. With a little bit of moving towards that foot. The other foot always stays on the ground. Last time. Make sure you've got space for the other side. Just test it out. Think about where you're going to go. You've got space for your arms. Here we go. Last one. Lovely. Come back, just feet about a hands apart, just bringing your hands up into prayer, bring your elbows up. And the elbows don't have to touch you, if they do, that's okay though. And bring the arms out and out to the side. And as you lower the arms, as you breathe out, can you get a little bit taller? Can you reach your head to the ceiling? And breathing in and breathing out. As you breathe out, draw your spine up out of your pelvis, draw your ribs up off your pelvis. Try to open up every joint, so think about opening up the ankles, lift your knees up off the lower leg, lift your hips up off the lower legs. So try and get each joint to open up twice more. And just think, get taller and taller and taller. Make sure your weight's on your, big, on your toes as well as your heels. And finishing there. Lastly, just roll those shoulders, shake it out a little bit, shake the legs out a little bit. And thanks very much for joining me for 20 minutes. I hope you got refreshing work so you're ready to get back to the desk. And uh, thanks so much for joining me.